Good morning, rise and grind, rise and grind. Zombie here, 433 trucking. You guys ready to head to Laredo? Hey, Let's go. Check that, check that out guys. I don't know if you can see that, but this is down at the CFI yard in Laredo, Texas. And they have an automated wash system for the sides of the trailer. That goes from the back to the front. It's working right now. Probably can't see it because it's dark in there. I'm just amazed. It just amazes how much they want you to, you know, they want you to have access to cleaning your truck. Now, to be honest with you, I don't really know how well this all cleans, but it's still pretty cool. At the Joplin yard, there's two guys that work in the wash bay. This one looks like there's one guy in the wash bay, unfortunately, so it's taking a little bit longer, I think, but it's crazy. Yeah, I didn't really get it. I should have took some video of coming into the job uh, to the Laredo yard, but I didn't. So next time I come down here, I'll take some videos coming in. But I got a pretty good thing going on. I'm getting the hang of the comp the ELD. The ELD is a kind of a pain in the ass. It's a PeopleNet ELD, and I had to input that I did a pre-trip yesterday three times today because it didn't take. Then I had to input my pre-trip for today for the trailer I just picked up here in Laredo three times because it wasn't wasn't getting it or something, I don't know. But whatever. Unfortunately, um, my clock's running. Uh, I've got about eight hours and 40 minutes left on my work shift duty. I got seven hours and 50 minutes and I'm heading to Illinois, the northern part of Illinois, up by Chicago, so. It says I got about 23 hours to get there. Uh, it's about 1,444 miles, so. You know, the nice thing is it's a nice long trip and I'm only, I only got about Looks like I got 12,579 pounds in the box, which is cool. Because that means I'm going to save on fuel. Because I use a lot more fuel on the load coming down here because I hauled 40. I have 44,000 pounds, I think, in the box. 42 or 44,000, I think. So I'll take the lighter ones, that's for sure. Saves me on fuel. So that means in the last. That means for two loads, two loads I'll have about uh, 2,300 miles for two loads, which is pretty awesome. And that's in, you know, I'm hoping if I can get up and drop this Tuesday, then I can turn this this in on this week's pay schedule. A, uh, pay, pay period so, so I'm pretty stoked let's see how that it's got the brushes that go back and forth it washes the top of the trailer washes the sides of the trailer 
And look at that brush coming down. There it goes down the back of the trailer. Check that out. See it? Ah, oh, wow. That's pretty cool. The only bummer thing is, is that you wait. Like right now, I'm waiting. I've been waiting for about 30 minutes, but for now, it'll be cool to get this thing washed. And then uh, at some point, I want to stop and, and get a really good wash. You know, because my I want to keep my rims looking really nice. I got to stop and figure out some get some polish or something. So, but anyway, I'm in Laredo, getting ready to take off. Hopefully, get through this wash bay, and and uh, I'll catch you guys on the road. Peace. Rise and grind. It's Sunday. Is it Sunday? Yeah, it's Sunday. Rise and grind. So check it out. Leaving Laredo. I'm super close to the Mexican border. I know, I think I gotta go through the, um, well, not, I think, I know, I, got, I have to go through a border check because I'm so close to the border for sure. So, that'll be my first border check as an owner operator. There's a lot of firsts on this trip, but to tell you the truth, I'm totally stoked. Laredo's yard was pretty organized. Uh, the thing that took me the longest was to get through the wash bay. Probably could have avoided it, but you know why not get a little get a little free clean job before you hit the road. Looking, you know, try to look a little presentable. Representing 433 trucking leased to CFI. So, yeah, so far everything's been really good on this trip. Trucks running really good, knock on wood. And uh, the only thing I'm worried about is my recap time. Because the first couple of days were shit. I didn't have really good. Uh, because the low got canceled. So that day ended up not being very good as far as hours. So we'll see. Right now, I need to be in Illinois on the 26th.
should have known when it said the Alamo Dome. Home of the Spurs, baby. Home of the Spurs.